What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see in the titles, today we're going to be training with dumbbells. I've already done a dumbbell only workout, but today we're doing a high intensity, so basically a conditioning um, workout with dumbbells. Uh, I was proactive, so as you guys saw the bodyweight stuff, I filmed quite a few workouts that you can do at home. So today is dumbbell. So we did uh, bodyweight stuff uh, last week. So hopefully you guys can use this and implement this into your training. All you need is dumbbells and a mat. And you can do this at home, you can do this outside, wherever you want. And uh, yeah, I just thought that from now until whenever, I'm going to bring you a lot of training content that will tide you over when you're training at home because I know it's going to be tricky for every single one of us at the moment. So I'm doing the best I can to bring you as much free content as possible. So hopefully uh, this will be helpful because I got some great feedback from my last video. Thank you guys so much. And hopefully uh, you can give me some awesome feedback and don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. And, uh, Make sure you subscribe also if you haven't done so. As always, I would give you the reps, the sets, the tempo, as always. I'll put it in the description box as well. And I'm going to break down every single workout. So I've already done the workout, hence why I look a mess. We're going to start with the first ex So we're going to start with part one. So first, obviously, you're going to warm up. So make sure you warm up, as always. I would always give you some warm up so you can see some of the drills that I've put in the video. Make sure you warm up thoroughly before you do any workout, especially if you're using weights. And don't forget, I've written this workout um, to suit every single person. The weights you use will be dependent on you. So find a weight that will be more comfortable for you in terms of the dumbbells. First workout, um, I've got my phone out because I can't remember all of it. Uh, we're going to do a Tabata style workout. So there's four different exercises, four, four different exercises. There's dumbbell deadlift, dumbbell hang clean and press, dumbbell hang snatch, and a dumbbell plank pass through. So the idea is you're going to be working for 30 seconds and then you rest for 30 seconds and then you get a two minute rest. However, if you feel like you are a beast, you can reduce that to one minute and then you go into round two, there's three rounds. Now, here's the thing about this one. You can, if you want to, for the second round or even throughout of this, you can change it to a 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. So it's always 60 seconds. You can break it down however you want to in terms of the work rate, but minimum you should be working for 30 seconds. For however, if you want to do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds on, that's absolutely up to you. OK, 
Okay, so I've also given you an alternative so you can use singles if you don't have two dumbbells at home. Quick shout out to my sponsors for sponsoring this video. It's a tracker that I use. It's not just a fitness tracker, it tracks your sleep. It tracks your heart rate variability as well, just to show you if you're recovered well enough or not. And it also tracks your training as I've done, and I've put it up for you to kind of see um, a bit about the training that I've just done today for you guys. So check them out and use my code OB to get yourself a nice, discount so i'm going to put the link in my description box so you can check them out back to the video in the workouts i am using 22.5 kilo dumbbells each however you don't have to if you don't have dumbbells i would um, suggest and highly recommend you get some if you can get different weights fantastic if you can't uh, for guys i would say aim for about a 20 22 um, kilo dumbbell I um, don't know what that is in pounds and ladies aim for about 10 to 12 kilos I mean obviously if those are too heavy scale them down now another thing I would note is every single one of these that I've put together you're not meant to do them the same day because it, it, I, I've done that and it will suck so choose one or two you're not doing it all of this just like the body weight stuff you don't have to do all of it at once pick one or two and then do them uh, some are longer and some are shorter. So with the Tabata workout, you might want to mix with other workouts that I've put, which I will explain to you as we get on in the video. So, so part two, I've called Max out. And this workout is going to suck, so be prepared for it. So you have four different exercises. So the first will be dumbbell front squats, or you can do goblet as an alternative. Dumbbell ground to overhead, burpees over the dumbbells, and sit-ups. So I will explain how this works. So you're going to put 12 minutes on the clock, so it's going to be a running clock, and you have 60 seconds to perform max reps on the front squats, and then you move on to the ground to overhead. You have a minute to perform as many reps as you can. The burpees over the dumbbells, you've got one minute. The sit-ups, you have another minute. Keep going for three rounds. Now the idea of this is, as the clock is running, so obviously when you do the frog squats, when you go to do straight into the next exercise, the clock keeps running. So technically you don't have a minute. So you might have 10 seconds to transition to the second exercise. And then when you finish, you get as many reps as possible on that one. You have probably another 10, 15 seconds to transition to the second one. You will find that after the second and third reps, you will start to need a bit more rest between exercises and it will start to get sucky. So just be prepared for that. So technically it says a minute max reps on every single one. You don't have a minute. After the first round, you realize that uh, you probably need about 20 seconds to get into each and every single one of the exercises. So the clock will keep running. Now the way to count your reps, because a lot of people will be like, well, how do we count our reps? It's a lot of, yeah. So what you do is, when you start with the front squats, you count how many reps you've got on the front squats, and then when you move on to the ground to overhead, you keep counting. So if you've got 20 reps on the front squats, when you go to the ground to overhead, 
you count 21, 22, 23, and then when you go on to the burpees over the dumbbells, you know, so let's say you, you total you've got 40, when you've done the front squat and the mount over the head, then you count 41, 42. So you just keep counting for the whole three rounds. I know it's, it's nuts because you're doing all these exercises, you're tired and then you have to like mentally count. That's the whole point. So, you know, you have to use both your brains and your muscles. I mean, I know counting is not that difficult, maybe for some of us it is. No, uh, so yeah, that's the whole idea. So you do that for the three rounds and then you have two minute rest. If you want to, you can make that three minutes because then you still have another three exercises to go. So after that three minutes, we're going to move on to another set of exercises. So the next one, you've got three exercises and they are dumbbell lunges, dumbbell push-ups, and then dumbbell hand cleans. So this time you've got nine minutes on the clock, and then you keep going. Again, remember, 60 seconds on one, 60 seconds on the other, 60 seconds on the other one. You keep going for three rounds. So if you're still confused, the idea is, okay, so if once you get to, let's say you start on minute one, once you get to the first minute, you have to move on to the next exercise, but it might take you 10 to 15 seconds. And however, once you get to minute two, you have to stop and go on to the next one. Hence why I said you're not going to have a full minute, even though I have put a minute max reps on it. So I'll write this down so it'll make more sense, but it's just good for me to explain it now that it's all fresh in my head. And then we're on to workout three. And workout three is, uh, yeah, it's, it's um, not going to be fun. So workout three, I say none of it's going to be fun to be honest, none of them are. But workout three is, uh, <laughs> it's called Is This Real Life? Because it sucks just as bad as the first and the second. Hence why I said you can't do this all the same day, even though I did and I'm in pain. So what we're doing is four different exercises. So we're going to start with thrusters, and then down ups, and then butterfly sit ups into push ups. Now you have to do 80 reps on every single one. Yes, 80 reps. The whole idea of this workout is there's no structure. Okay, so this is where you can have fun with this. You don't have to do it as I've listed. So as I've put the order of the exercise, you don't actually have to stick to that. You just have to do 80 thrusters, 80 down ups, 80 uh, butterfly sit ups and 80 push ups. If you want to do the push ups first, the down ups second, the butterflies third, and the thrusters fourth, that's absolutely fine as long as you get 80 in total on every single one. What I've done is I prefer to break them down. So I broke them down to 10 reps on each exercise because it makes it manageable and you can keep moving. So you want to make sure that you can keep moving and you're not slowing down too much. You can even break them down by fives, that's absolutely fine. So what I would recommend is you can break them down into however you want. Put them in manageable numbers, so don't try and be silly and do 80 reps on one exercise and then go on to the second one. That will slow you down. The whole idea is to do this all for time, so finish as quick as possible um, in your own time. So that's what's fun about this one is, if you, especially if you do it with someone else, you both can actually pick a different strategy and see how it works out. And then what's great about this exercise, you can do it again, but do it in a different order to see if you're actually faster. So I found the butterfly sit-ups and the push-ups are a lot easier 
than the Fosters. On the Fosters, I am using uh, two times 20 kilos on the Fosters as well, just to bear that in mind as well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that is the workout. Remember, like I said, this is not all to be done in one day. You can do them all in one, in one, in one workout. If you want to, uh, you might struggle to do that. So again, pick one or two, pick two of them and do that. Um, some of them are slightly longer than the others. You can change the reps if you want to. That's the beauty about all these workouts. If you want to add more reps to every single exercise that I've given you, do that. If you want to use more weight, do that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah. But if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, yeah. hope you enjoyed this one. And I uh, hope you're all staying positive and all trying to find some form of silver lining in this uh, weird period in time. Uh, but I will try as much as possible to bring you a lot of um, training content because that's what you follow me and that's what I'm here for. Um, this is the beauty about YouTube is, you know, we can bring you so many free content that you can enjoy. And uh, yeah, hopefully, um, you find a lot of these useful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have an awesome, awesome week, month, year. I don't know why I'm saying that like it's the end of the world. <laughs> Peace out.